Once again, I'm, I'm leading the other dog too, right? A lot of so, energy. yeah. Exactly. Now, if that dog was like, I probably would have let those slide. Mm -hmm. But because that dog's like this, I know she's feeling less comfortable with that dog. So even when she looks, she's probably not super comfy about it. So yeah. I'm saying, just don't look at the dog. Yeah, don't just worry about it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are the Canon 5G Mark II Sinus style? Oh, yeah, really? Wow. more comfortable the more you advocate and really kind of lay down like I want the world to look like this you be here you be mm -hmm. here that kind of stuff it's just gonna take a lot of pressure off him and he's just gonna relax and okay. once he relaxes you'll probably not see much of this stuff correct yeah, yeah that's really good yeah back and forth on the table okay but the table's probably still gonna be in the shop I mean, we could move this and we go to adjust Manny, we could move this out of the way and just bring Manny straight here if that's one. I don't like to have that back. Yeah, we just can move it this way, just put the one challenge guys in there. Make sure you guys hold on to that concept of making sure, you know, it's great that she's turning away, but if I see, if, if I was working with her and I saw a lot of head turns like that, I'd probably dial up five, ten, and make sure that conversation is a little more impactful for her, that she chooses to do it on her own, right? I don't want to have to monitor the rest of her life. Structure walk segment of this should be fun. What you need to start working on is that when he's unsure, you don't want, you don't want to share any sort of stuff. The less connected a nervous guy is to you, the more nervous he gets. The more you say, let's walk like this. Don't mind about that dog. Don't don't follow every instinct and every impulse, but listen to me, respond to me. And he's like, oh, cool. Let's go. Walks feel different. You know? Every conversation, every moment that you get him to feel like he can lean on you emotionally in a healthy way, make him better. This is your specialty though, right? We're rolling if you want to do stuff. Come on, Mike. Come on, Blue. You got this. There's 472 holes per square foot in the ceiling. You guys can't see them. Your eyesight is not as sharp as mine. I think it's really? better backwards. Yeah. Wait, look at me now, Laura. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ready? Action. No, don't really. <laughs> and you'll oh be looking God, more at know, like filming. his hands. I didn't even know. And You're filming the, right the now? The dog's neck. I'm making good choices. Yeah. So you wouldn't even know how she can really be around cats yeah. until we address this. Once yeah. you get her cool and chilled out, yeah. then you can see, like, most likely, with yes. some, some good training, yeah. she'll probably walk really nice on a leash. She won't yes. care about other dogs. Uh, there's very few dogs that come to us with reactive right. issues yeah. that don't like yeah. lose them I, pretty quick. Ideally. Okay, everybody, so now that we've got our prong collar fitted, we're going to work with Miss Pearl here and start to introduce her to the leash and prong pressure. So we've got a very specific way that we go about introducing that. I'm going to demo that now. As she forges out in front of me, I'm going to start to add gentle leash pressure and teach her how to give to pressure. So this exercise is going to teach her how to give to pressure. It's going to de-escalate her state of mind, and it's going to do one other thing that Laura's going to tell me. It's beautiful. Dream Dogs, Gainesville, Florida. 
Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> what I'm seeing right now, much like bad behavior, what there is is state of mind that's just super adrenalized yeah. and agitated. And she just needs someone that can sh teach her how to calm down a little bit, right. manage her, and she'll relax. Right. She won't. She won't exist constantly in a relaxed state. She's going to be a dog that's got some energy, right. but she can turn it on and off in a different way. And right, right. now, she doesn't know how to manage herself. So she's just like, yeah, all the whole time. Yeah. And so she's going to make you nuts because everything she sees is going to be an outlet, right? right? So if she doesn't know how to self-regulate, everything she sees is an opportunity to like right. channel that energy. Now, you get her in a different mode, and then all of a sudden she sees a dog like, yeah, I'd love to just like <laughs> explode because yeah. I feel really good, but I'm going to contain myself and I'll be cool. Right. Hey everybody, it's Sean the Good Dog, and in this Good Dog second, I wanted to chat with you guys real quick about undercorrecting your dog. The rest of them, I think we should just bring right to the center now. I just, yeah, I think it's a good idea. The only thing, I just wanted to, uh, um, I can't remember what I was going to say. T3 is designed for those 3%. So, what's your dream? What's holding you back? And what are you going to do about it? You expose yourself. Be honest with yourself. You might freaking cry. You might stand up and celebrate. We're going to cry. We're going to celebrate. But fuck if we're not going to find out by the end of this weekend what's your dream, what's holding you back, and what can we do to get you there. Good. Good stuff. This guy. Yeah. I'm telling you that I freaking love this stuff. <laughs> I freaking love this stuff. I'm so excited for these people. I'm so excited. This is great. This is awesome. Means the client's gonna have to work a lot harder, and the conversation is gonna be dissipated tremendously, which is going to encourage the dog to really just do what it wants to do, which is not the position I'm looking for. So I mean, can I? I mean, I could fully train a dog with a snip lead. Big deal. I'm a dog trainer. I would hope so. It makes you guys better. I encourage you to like have fun and train dogs with slip leads, but. I, I can't stand seeing clients struggle. I hate it. I hate it. And I'd rather just tell the client, listen, let's work on the prong first, and, and will you work off of it? Maybe, but maybe not. But who cares? So clients will always ask, oh, do I have to have a prong collar on? I'm like, I'll tell you what, I mean, my personal dogs go naked. They literally wear no collar, no leash. Big deal, I'm a dog trainer, I would hope so. I mean, it's complicated. You know, it's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. So I think about it, I haven't done it yet. She's been telling me to do it for six months. Like, I haven't yeah. done it yet, but it's worth it. It's clean and nice. But I really would like me with the rest of you guys over here. What do you think? I'm like, I'm so excited. She's in the sound. I'm like, 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 I'm
So this is like your typical shelter dog, right? <laughs> this is your typical shelter dog um, that's going to be hard to adopt out because of these very kind of rambunctious behaviors. Stand right here and start. Make sense, everybody? Yeah. Right? So if you want to start here, great. But if you really want to start to challenge a dog, you walk right up, you stop. I want that dog stopping on a dime. You can make the same thing with the threshold. So easier like this, more challenging with more motion. Mm -hmm. So you can pick, pick your poison. <laughs> but I'm saying part of that might be might be just that you're you're kind of doing something a little bit new, but also mm -hmm. might be because of the association of the kennel of a mm -hmm. lot of female interactions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right? Rather than with Jeff, it's getting a different thing. Now this is creating more of an invitation because I'm standing in front of him like this. So this to me is a much higher level of challenge for him than this. Right? There's a lot of, there's still spatial pressure going on. Right? There's still a little bit of blocking. So this... Now I feel pretty good about that. That's a good conversation for me. Then, right, real quick, guys. When you come up to grab the leash, that's your next moment where the dog goes, "Oh, goody, we're going somewhere," and you're liable to get more action. So see, each one of these steps is a moment to challenge the dog, right? So I had him like this. I walked up. I reached like this. He's already off. No, no, no. We haven't said anything. Just because I grabbed the leash doesn't mean anything. Another level of challenge. Dogs are very familiar with leash and hand means motion with handler. No, it doesn't in this moment. Let's go. The more excited the dog is, the calmer, the more quiet, the more controlled all my motions will be. In which directions do which directions you want him to go emotionally? Right, so teach him where you want him to go. Right, so if I want a dog to go somewhere, Quiet, I'm, I speak slow, mm -hmm. I talk to my clients like this, and I look like this, and then I go slow, slow and down. So take him in the direction you want him to go. Do the whole thing you share. Lucky here. Good. Good. Place. Good. Lucky here. Good. Down. Good. Lucky here. Good. Place. Good. Good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting five days. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Place. Good.